driven by voices. That's the claim in an investigation by the Boston Globe about accused Boston Marathon bomber uh, Tamerlan Sarnayev. Brian Todd is joining us right now. Uh, Brian, the report suggests he was hearing voices, that right. he may have had a mental illness. What's going on? First indications of this, Wolf, from the Boston Globe's investigation that uh, he possibly did have some mental illness. The Globe uh, spoke to a doctor who was a family friend who had had conversations with a psychiatrist who had actually treated Tamerlan Sarnayev's parents. Uh, the doctor, who was a family friend, speculated to the Globe that he thought that Tamerlan Sarnayev might have had schizophrenia. The psychiatrist who treated his parents but did not treat Tamerlan Sarnayev uh, told the Globe, or, or at least said at some point, that he believed that Tamerlan Sarnayev uh, has some kind of paranoia. But the Globe is now reporting, quoting friends and others, as saying that Tamerlan Sarnayev started hearing uh, a voice in his head as a young man and that it continued later on, that one man who went to uh, mo the mosque with him quoted, uh, was quoted as saying, quote, he was torn between those two people, whatever was in his head and the persona that he was in real life. So first indications from this Globe investigation, Wolf, that maybe there, maybe there might have been some mental illness But what there. about the links to these organized terror groups uh, in yeah. Russia or elsewhere? The Globe, according to this investigation, didn't really find very strong links to that. And what they're saying now is that they, from what they're putting together here, uh, that, the, that the Boston Marathon bombing might have been the result more of uh, this family, the Sarnaya family, just kind of breaking apart and their series of failures as a family and the series of failures that these two brothers uh, experienced, that it was really more their kind of, you know, just, just their life experiences that led to the Boston Marathon bombing rather than any Islamic radicalization because the, one of the reporters who really dug into that didn't find much evidence of radicalization. But there were a series of failures and we ourselves have reported a series of family failures and a series of personal failures on Tamerlan Sarnaev's part. He didn't make the Olympic box boxing team. Uh, he was arrested in 2009 for slapping a girlfriend. He had financial problems. All of those things we've been reporting on the Boston Globe now, reporting on some other tidbits in, his, in their lives that leads the Boston Globe to maybe conclude that this was more a, series, more a result of personal failures rather than any radicalization uh, that may have, may have led to the bombings. That was the older brother who died in that, in that whole right. incident. The younger bro bro brother, Jahar, he survived. What about him? Did he have any mental illness problems? Any indication he was suffering from schizophrenia? Nothing like that, but what the Globe is now reporting, uh, quoting anonymous friends and acquaintances of Jahar Sarnai, of the younger brother, saying that he sold marijuana uh, at the University of Massachusetts at Dartmouth, that he sometimes made about $1,000 a week, that he was known as a marijuana seller there, and that he sometimes carried a gun to protect his supply of marijuana. That is according to the Boston Globe. That's some new information that we found in this investigation that the Globe uh, uh, had in its, in its report that we had not seen before. This is the evidence that he sold marijuana. We have called the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office in Massachusetts and Jahar Sarnayev's attorneys, and we have not gotten comment from them. All right, we'll see what else you come up with. Thanks, Brian, uh, Brian Todd reporting.